All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to access and use your Wi-Fi settings inside of your Android phone in order to connect to your network. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you've got your Wi-Fi turned on in the internet settings. So you pop that open, and you should have an option to turn on your Wi-Fi, and you can also turn on your mobile data. If you wanted to turn your mobile data off and only use Wi-Fi or make sure you don't use your data, you could toggle that off here. With your Wi-Fi on, you can click done and then you can go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you'll see at the top you have the network and internet option. You can go ahead and tap on that. And inside of your network and internet settings, you have the options to activate airplane mode, Turn on your hotspot and tethering, data saving modes, and all the sorts of other stuff. But what you want is the internet at the top. Here is where you can connect to networks that are in range of you. So when you're inside of here, let's just forget my old network, just for the sake of reference. You can find the network that you want to connect to that's within range and go ahead and tap on it. Then you can input the password. And then when you're done, you can click connect. And then once you're done, it should connect to your local net network, and then you should be able to then download stuff from the internet, browse, whatever you want to do, you should be good to go. Likewise, there's probably a bunch of old junk networks that you have saved up inside of your saved networks. It's probably a good idea to go through here once in a while and forget all of the ones that you're not using anymore, or you're fairly certain are no longer a thing. Like I've used Wi-Fi's at a bunch of different hotels. So it's a good idea to remove all of that once in a while. So you don't accidentally connect to a network that you don't intend to later. You can also add a network manually. This is useful for things like hidden networks where you can't see them locally because they're hidden, but you could enter like the network. Let's say it's like um, crab people. And then you could tell it the security is, you know, WP2. And then you could enter the password if you know it. And then we'll say that it's um, Rangoon. And if that existed, it would then connect to it. But because we don't have a hidden network, we don't need to do that. And that's pretty much it, really. And you can either through that menu or through your main pull down menu at any time disable your internet. Wi-Fi settings, both your network and also your Wi-Fi so that you can control where you're getting your internet data from. It's helpful for things like if you're trying to troubleshoot what's wrong with your Wi-Fi, you can see if it's just your Wi-Fi acting up and connect instead to the cell phone network or vice versa. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and uh, have a good one.